It is the 22nd of the 10th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,321. Now I know I've been gone a while. A while. My wife's been sick. In and out of the doctors, they still can't figure out what's going on. Uh, honestly, I haven't had the energy. And I needed a break. My birthday's this week, so happy birthday to me. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I've decided that this year I'm going to come out of my shell. I'm going to quit isolating myself from others, my family and friends, um, due to the information that I know, and they are blissfully ignorant to the facts that are they're in denial straight out. So I am going to accept everybody for who they are and how they are, and I'm just going to be me. But uh, it's time to step up and step out and uh, snap out of this depression a little bit. Because this stuff will depress you. If you aren't already. So here we go, e and &E News. Unprecedented catastrophe underway at Fukushima. Radioactive material will keep coming across to North America for centuries. And we've been going on and on about this. Dana's out there right now trying to prove it so, where everybody's fighting. And all these stories starting to come out. Can't hide it. They just can't hide it. Arnie Gunderson melted nuclear fuel to bleed into ocean for decades. Perhaps centuries. Many, many, many centuries. Entire Pacific is being contaminated. Again, here we go. Another story, never heard of so much sickness and death in such a short period, says Fukushima evacuee. She writes about strange diseases in young people, deadly tumors and hemorrhages, pets missing hair, child losing all their fingernails. It goes on and on. Doctor, my friends are dying of cancer one after another. And these are stories coming out of from 2011. And the situation continues to unfold in Japan. They're still planning the 2020 Olympics. What's going to happen when Tokyo is so contaminated that they can't hide it anymore? Where are all those people going to go? Who's going to pay all that money? Government report reveals Fukushima radioactive release much larger than Chernobyl. Again... Chernobyl was one-third the size of one of these reactors, with a 30% meltdown. We have three confirmed reactors, 100% meltdown. They don't know where the corium is. It's underneath the building and in the environment. This has been proven over and over again. Yet they seem to go round and round and round about the big mystery. That is Fukushima. And if you pay close attention, it's not really a mystery at all. You got corrupt officials hiring mafias to get workers in there. They're snatching up homeless people and charging them money to work at Fukushima. By the time they pay for their meals and their little lodging and all the other corruption going on. And you wonder why nothing's getting done. This will continue to go on and on and on. Way past where we're gone. Way past the time we're gone. Japan TV anchor, I couldn't tell the truth about Fukushima. Shocking revelations kept secret from the public. Nuclear scientists, I have not trusted the information from the beginning. The worst scenario I predicted has happened. People are starting to come out to say it. It's an ELE event. And this stuff doesn't happen overnight. This is 30, 60, 90 years down the road. Look at the changes in the health since nuclear industry started. I think I read somewhere back in 1900 the cancer rate was like 3%. Now it's 50 to 60. What's really going on? 
Fukushima nuclear waste detected off a U.S. west coast from California to Canada. Take that, trolls. Quote, there's definitely offshore Fukushima cesium now. And cesium's just a marker, remember. There's over 1,300 different isotopes. And they all run together. It's not just 1Z, 2Z, 3Z here. They use cesium as a marker. And some of these isotopes will never go away. <sighs> Government Canada hit with high concentrations of Fukushima nuclear material. Tremendous impact all over the world. Enormous public health consequences. We've been going on and on about this. West Coast Plume was 500% level requiring NRC to be notified. And what did they do? What did they do? They shut down the monitors, didn't they? UC Berkeley professor, quote, we did indeed see high, fairly, I mean, some level of radiation. Stutter, stutter. <sighs> Record radi radiation at Fukushima after Vong Fong, which is the big uh, hurricane that happened. First test since Tuesday's typhoon showed radioactive material continues to rise near the ocean. Officials, we can't do any more to stop this. Depth and scope of contamination flowing out are unknown. And TEPCO's been notorious about pumping out all those tanks we keep hearing about every typhoon. Because that sweeps it out in the Pacific and away from the coast and their monitors. The insanity continues. Here we go. <coughs> Plague along West Coast has biologists fearing extinction of species. Here we go with the starfish and the mollusks and everything else going along the West Coast right now. Experts. Listen to the, what the experts are telling you. Take your kids to the beach and see them before they're gone. Take your kids to see the plague along the West Coast that's killing all the sea life so they can see the dying sea life before it's gone. Everybody take your kids to the ocean and let them play in the water. Thanks, PBS. Worst outbreak ever known in the oceans. Hmm, big mystery. Tsunami debris from an industrialized coastline that was Japan all up and down the West Coast, the United States, Canada, and Mexico. It was bound to happen eventually, on top of all the radiation. So we got unknown amounts of billions and billions of gallons of this and that, toxic chemicals, fuel, everything mixing together in this toxic soup that's splashing up against the West Coast right now. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about the chemicals because, hey, they're all going to get dispersed in the water. That's a big ocean. It's not looking so big anymore, is it? Fukushima workers urgently trying to prevent groundwater from leaking into ocean. This is a bullshit story as usual. Levels of nuclear waste surge next to the sea. Strontium-90 shatters previous record by over 5 billion becquerels. Now 25 million times the EPA limit. But don't worry folks, everything's completely under control. Fukushima is going to continue and continue and continue and continue. I don't see any, any stopping. And the Pacific Ocean will continue to be damaged and killed. What does this radiation do to the sea life, to the ecosystem? Where does 80% of our oxygen come from? First 30 feet of that sea produces what, 70-80% of the oxygen we breathe? What happens when that ocean dies? Where does our rainwater come from? It's in the air. It's in the rain. It's in the ground. It's in the food we eat. It's in the water we drink. 
and there's nothing we can do to stop it. That's about all I have for you today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.